You know, if you look up the origin story of the term deadline, you might be shocked to learn its literal roots. It's a line, if crossed, meant, well, you'd likely, yeah, you know what it is. And while the meaning doesn't carry that same connotation these days, it is still supposed to be this do this or face serious consequences kind of thing, a point of no return. Well, apparently our lieutenant governor hasn't quite grasped that concept of the deadline, missing another one yesterday when she was supposed to submit a plan to remedy her office budget deficit. A little refresher for you. Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan was ordered to pay close to $29,000 in court costs and legal fees after losing her public records battle with the Idaho Press Club back in 2021. That was on top of a $750 fine she was issued by a judge for her, quote, bad faith violations of the Idaho's Public Records Act. This all stemmed from her refusing to fulfill said public re records request by a 10-day deadline. Lieutenant Governor ended up paying that money out of her Lieutenant Governor's budget with her request to have it covered by a supplemental budget bump basically denied by the Joint Finance Appropriations Committee last month. Then on that same day, March 11th, the Division of Financial Management sent her office an email saying her fiscal year 2022 budget shortfall be about, well, a little more than $22,000. Since then, she's been sent several emails from various state entities detailing her projected budget being in the red. And in that time, vendor payments have stopped her staff has been let go in order to save some money. Even with those savings, she still found herself short. Well, since then, she's received bi-weekly updates from the State Controller's Office. As of April 7th, her projected budget stood at about $2,300. That same day, the Division of Financial Management requested she produce a plan on how to come up with a cash because it's Idaho. And you know what? We balance our budgets. They set her deadline as end of business day on April 13th, which was yesterday. That request is consistent with Idaho code and requires her to respond, by the way. Alex Adams, the administrator for the division, sent McGeehan an email Wednesday morning reminding her of the 5 p.m. deadline coming up. Adams says that deadline was crossed without as much as a response from McGeehan, so nothing. However, this morning, 1145, she did respond, saying she's always been transparent with her finances, adding if there is a shortfall in the final month of the fiscal year, quote, that amount may be withheld from my final paycheck as needed to balance my accounts, end quote. She added, quote, of course, DFM already has access to all of my office's accounting and expenditure records, making this exercise a rather pointless formality, end quote. A formality may be pointless, though, because there are other issues that have to be dealt with, like vendor payments, specifically with health insurance premiums. And by not making a decision on that, well, that could lead to a gap in health insurance coverage, as was noted in an email to Lieutenant Governor McGeehan, which is why Adams says they have given McGeehan a new deadline of Monday to respond to those requests. We did reach out to McGeehan for comment today, but we have yet to hear back. By the way, Idaho's fiscal year, that ends June 30th.